Hi, my name is David Powell, and I'm here to offer you four very powerful, very practical tips on leadership. My own leadership training and facilitation business, and over the last 18 years I've worked across all five continents with about 180 different organizations. So I'm going to offer you what's working for people just like you out there with their leadership challenges. Now our four tips are going to be around purpose, plans, passion and persistence. Leadership comes from the old Anglo-Saxon verb lydan, which means to show the way. So if you're going to be a good leader, I would suggest the key job you have, you and your people, is to show the way. Where are we going under your leadership? So our first tip around purpose. The purpose defines the journey. But I would say to you, you know this, the picture is worth a thousand words. You remember faces. We all have trouble with the names. So the first tip is to go from purpose to vision. A graphical picture of your success out on the horizon, the future horizon. What does the success of you and your people look like? That's the first tip. The second tip, P, plans, is it is almost impossible to stand in present time and plan into the future. It's too hard for my experience. So what is required is to go out to the future where your vision of success is on the horizon and then plan back and don't do it in words, do it in pictures. Use the graphical planning tool that was developed by the US Navy for the Polaris missile program, used by NASA on all the space missions and is used by the special forces. And I often say to people, if graphical planning from the future back to the present is good enough for the SAS, it's probably good enough for you and me. Now, the third of our tips around passion. We're looking for enthusiasm from you and, of course, from the staff. The Greek word entheos is the source of the word enthusiasm. And entheos means the spirit within. I tend to look at the whole person, and I suggest you do. Body, mind, emotion, and spirit. I see the spirit as the core of who we are, the essence of us, the essence of David, the essence of you. And I would suggest to you that the spirit within, the entheos, is not looking for a job. No one's looking for a job. Everybody's looking for a game. Why do I say that? Well, we all walk around as adults, very serious. Yes, I'm a leader, until they put on the Olympic Games. World Cup Soccer. The ashes. And the whole adult world goes nuts about a game. So your job as the leader, I would suggest, is set up the game. Let's work as a high performance team to achieve this vision by working through the graphical plans that we've developed back from the future. They look like road bridges of plans. And the final tip, the fourth P, persistence. From the Latin, persistere, to stand firm throughout. Because one of my heroes of leadership, Henry Ford, said there's an enemy out there. He talked about resistance from the Latin, resistere, to stand against us. I use the term the aliens of resistance, the roadblocks, the things that are going to stop you. You know what I'm talking about. So the final key is analyze your roadblocks, the aliens of resistance, then do the root cause analysis, and like Sigourney Weaver in the movies, get your flamethrowers out so you and your people are all pointing the flamethrowers at the root causes of your resistance, and you will win, you will prevail, and be a great leader. Thank you very much. Good luck.